Dear students, please note down. These notes are available in the description of video. Please download your notes. In today's lecture, we will discuss endoplasmic reticulum, ER or ergastroplasia. Now down, this is a common topic for all competitive exams, BSc students and particularly this lecture is, it is designed for neat students. It is a topic of cell biology and today we will clear another cell organelle, endoplasmic reticulum ER or ergastroplasia. Dear students, endoplasmic reticulum, as name indicates, inside the cytoplasm, reticulum, there is a network. That's why, and these cell organelles are mainly found in deep parts of cytoplasm, near the nucleus. So, these are named endoplasmic, inside the cytoplasm, reticulum, network is there, endoplasmic reticulum. This term endoplasmic reticulum, it was coined by K.R. Porter in 1953. But before this, this cell organelle endoplasmic reticulum was first observed by neat students, not down each and every point. This endoplasmic reticulum or gastroplasm, it was first observed by Garnier in 1897 and Garnier coined the term ergastroplasia. This term endoplasmic reticulum that was coined by K.R. Porter in 1953 and K.R. Porter he proposed ultra structure of this endoplasmic reticulum. He stated that there is an interconnected network is there and that interconnected network of cisterna vesicles and tubules collectively constitute ER endoplasmic reticulum a network of this membrane bound cell organelle inside cell cytoplasm near the nucleus. ER, endoplasmic reticulum, having three components. One is cisterna, its second part vesicles, and third part tubules. It means endoplasmic reticulum is made up of three elements, and its three elements very clear, cisterna, vesicles, and tubules. Cistern. These are flat sac like structures, and these flattened sac like structures, which are stacked, packed one above another, they run almost parallel to each other, and these cisterna are interconnected with each other. This bundle, this mass of cisterna is named as Ergastoplasia. That's why Garnier in 1897, he coined this term Ergastoplasia instead of endoplasmic reticulum. But electron microscopic structure that was given by K.R. Porter, he studied that. There is a network of, there is interconnected network of cisterna, vesicles and tubules. And he named endoplasmic reticulum. These cisterna act as rough endoplasmic reticulum because on their surface, these small rounded bodies, these are ribosomes, these are ATS ribosomes. It means ATS ribosomes associate with these cisterna or lamely. Here in this diagram, the ribosome, ATS ribosome that gets attached with the surface of cistern or lamely by a glycoprotein molecule. 
ग्लाइकोप्रोटीन नॉट नाउ नीड स्टूडेंट्स ग्लाइकोप्रोटीन मीन्स इट इज ए पॉलीसेक्राइड इट इज ए हिड्रोपोलीसेक्राइड ग्लाइको कार्बोहाइड्रेट प्लस प्रोटीन एंड दैट प्रोटीन इज राइबोफोरी बाई विच दिस राइबोसोम एसोसिएट विद द सिस्टर नाउ लेमली ऑफ एंडोप्लास्मिक रेटिकुलम हियर दिस राइबोसोम gets attached with the surface of this lamellae a pore develops here between this ribosome and cisterna lamellae and this pore is this is through this pore the ribosome which involves in the synthesis of protein or polypeptide chain that newly formed polypeptide chain that is transferred from this ribosome to the lumen of this cisterna it means a newly formed polypeptide chain that is transferred through this pore which is synthesized by this ribosome and enter in the that polypeptide chain which enters here in the lumen cavity or space of cisterna this is cisternal cavity or lumen cavity space in which a matrix a fluid is there semi fluid is there newly formed polypeptide chain that gets back to here ribosome these are ats ribosomes and this ribosome which gets associate with this cisterna on this surface by a glycoprotein and that glycoprotein is riboforin here pore is there through this pore the ribosome which synthesized a polypeptide chain a protein chain that gets transferred here in the lumen of cisterna the vesicles these vesicles small rounded oval shaped structures and the surface is rough due to presence of ats ribosomes it means this cisterna and these vesicles are part of rough endoplasmic reticulum these cisterna and vesicles are mainly present in the cells which are metabolically very active because these cells like liver cells pancreas cells kidney cells which are involved in the synthesis of proteins and for the synthesis of proteins these ribosomes play vital role important role played by the ribosomes the third element of endoplasmic reticulum that is tubule and these tubules are fine tubular branched irregular structures without any ribosomes so they constitute these tubules constitute smooth endoplasmic reticulum these cisterna and these vesicles which possesses ats ribosomes the surface becomes rough so they constitute rough endoplasmic reticulum but here on these tubules which are without ribosomes no ribosomes their surface is smooth they constitute smooth endoplasmic reticulum these tubules which are involved in the synthesis of steroids lipids and glycogen not down here on the surface of tubules these small bodies are there these granules are there these granules are glycogen granules not down there is no confusion on the surface of these cisterna lamellae or ri vesicles ribosomes are there but on the surface of this tubule which is appear which appears as rough due to presence of glycogen granules these are not ribosomes these are glycogen granules which are present which associate with these tubules because tubules which are involved in the synthesis of steroids lipids glycogen association of glycogen with these tubules 
appears as rough but no confusion no confusion the ribosomes which associate with cisterna and vesicles no ribosomes on these tubules here these are some modifications of endoplasmic reticulum modifications of er first is sarcoplasmic reticulum now down sarcoplasmic reticulum sarco means muscles myoplasm reticulum network endoplasmic network endoplasmic reticulum inside myofibrils muscle fiber cells in muscle cells it means endoplasmic reticulum that gets modified in myofibrils in muscle cells and here in muscle cells this sarcoplasmic reticulum instead of er it is sr sarcoplasmic reticulum that involves in the conduction of food material and here in muscle cells sarcoplasmic reticulum involves in the conduction of nerve impulses as well as very important needs to dads this sarcoplasmic reticulum which removes which expels the lactic acid which is present in our muscles it means the sarcoplasmic reticulum in muscle cells remove lactic acid to prevent muscle fatigue ergastoplasm ergastoplasm or basoplasm means a mass of cisterna that was first observed by garnier 1897 he coined this term ergastoplasm or basoplasm and these ergastoplasm not down the question especially for neat students the ergastoplasm mainly present in the form of small granules which are basophilic in nature and basophilic nature due to presence of rna molecule and these ergastoplasm or basoplasm as their nature is basophilic due to presence of rna molecule which are present in the cytone no down the cytone cell body of neuron nerve cell in that small granules are there nissels granule third modification is myeloid bodies no down myeloid bodies each and every point very important these myeloid bodies are present in retinal cells of eye dear students in retina cells in the in these retinal cells these myeloid bodies modifications of endoplasmic reticulum which act as photoreception to receive the light annulated lamella these annulated lamella very clear in this diagram just near this nucleus these lamella which may be in the form of free vesicles or in the form of a chain of vesicles 